Right, good morning, grade 11, uh, tense I mean. So today we're going to look at the use of the calculator, whether you use the Casio or whether you use the Sharp. Both calculators should help you. So let's start off with number one in the activity that you must find the values of the trig ratios correct to two decimal places. Let's start off with the cost of 43. So how do we do it on the calculators? Let's start with the sharp first. The cost of 43. So what you do is you press cost first on both calculators. Press cost first. Now you'll see they look quite different. Right. Then you put in your 43 in both. Put in your 43. You'll see Casio got brackets. Some people will prefer to close the bracket. You don't really have to. Sharp don't have brackets. Cost got brackets, but it doesn't matter. Then equals to and equals to. And in both cases, we get exactly the same answer. We must round to second decimal. So therefore, 0 0.73. 0 0.73. Right. So the answer is then 0 0.734, number one. Right, let's do number two now. 4, 10, 21. 4, 10, 21. Right. 4, and we just clear here. 4, 10, 21. So on the sharp, 4, 10, 21. See, click guys. On the Casio, 4, 10, 21. That's all you do. Again, with a Casio, you can close the bracket. You don't really have to. So there you are. And then equals to and equals to. And in both cases, 1,535. Second decimal, 1,54. 1,54. So this is 1,54. Right. Then number three, 2 cos 40 over 2. So you can do it like this. You can say... 2 cos 20, because 40 over 2 is 20, so you can either use it in a fraction, or like this, it doesn't matter, right? Shall we do it? So, 2 cos 40, let me just move it up a bit, right, so let's see. Right, again, clear. So, I'm going to use first the one with the brackets, I mean with the fraction. So, it's 2 cos if I want to use a fraction, then of course I'm going to use my fraction key. Is it clear, guys? Then it is 40, scroll down, 2. Right, the same here. 2, cos, use my fraction key, and I put 40, scroll down, 2. And of course, scroll out, close the bracket. So it doesn't matter which one, whether you use like that, or whether you use 20. In both cases, we should get 1,879. 1,879. So second decimal, 1,88. Right? 1,88. 1,88. Right, cool. Then the next one, the cost of 28 plus 3. Let's see how do we do this. The cost of 28 plus 3. So first, cosine. Right, on the sharp. Then I would suggest use brackets, people. It's much safer than 28 plus 3. Close the bracket. It's much safer to do it like that. Sometimes you don't have to, but it played safe. Is it, is it clear, guys? Then same here, cosine of. Now the Casio gives you the bracket automatically. 28 plus 3. Close the bracket. And let's see, in both cases, the answer should be 0, 0,8. Five, seven. So therefore, 0, 0,86 to second decimal. Right? 0, 0,86 to second decimal. Then the last one is this one here. 5 over the sine of 25. 5 over the sine of 25. So it's a fraction. So start with your fraction key for both. Your fraction key. And then 5. Scroll down. Sine of 25. Sine of 25. 
scroll out your supply safe. Is it clear, guys? The same here with the Casio. 5 over the sign of 25. Close the bracket plate safe. Scroll out. Is it clear, guys? Then equals to and equals to. And in both cases, you'll get 11,83 or just 11,831. So second decimal, 11,83. Okay, so I'm glad that you, I hope you follow that. Now the next will be, now this was the angles given. Now with number B, the ratios are given. So the answer is given now. So the approach is slightly different now. Now we have to use what we call inverse and shift. So with a sharp, you're going to say second function, and then you press your cos. And you will see that. With a Casio, you say shift, and you press your cos, and you will see that. So can you see how it looks in both cases, right? Here's how it looks like. And then you put in your 0, 213 right 0, 213 here 0 well I'm sorry 0, 213 close the bracket and let's see what we get 77 there and 77 remember these are angles so second decimal 77 comma 7 degrees so theta is 77 comma 7 degrees because remember guys here we are dealing with the angle number three three sine theta equals to two but i have it here three sine theta equals to two now here you first got to divide by three you'll first have to do that guys first divide by three before you can do anything else then again it is shift and we're dealing with sign so shift sign if i start with my sharp first and then i have a fraction so my fraction key to scroll down three so there you are sign in two thirds the same here shift sign and then my fraction key which of course is still two thirds two thirds Scroll out and close the bracket. Equals and equals. And in both cases, I get 41,81. So it's 41,81. So theta is 41,81. Right. Then the next one, I will have to divide by 4. So cos theta is this value divided by 4. So it is 0, 8, 6. Oh, oh, wait, wait a second. Let's just do it like this. Let's just say 0, 0,865 divide by 4. It is much more accurate to do it like that. Cool. So let's see again on both calculators. Right. So it is second function cos. Shift cos. Right. So in both cases, I'm dealing with cos or the inverse of cos. Right. Let's see fraction and fraction then we have 0, 0,865 0, 0,865 0, 0,865 scroll down in both cases and at the bottom divide by 4 divide by 4 scroll out divide by 4 scroll out close the bracket equals equals and in both cases 77,51 77,51. Cool. Right, then the next one. Here, I have 10, and then I have sine 21 over cos 21. So what we do here is, we first do the right-hand side. So this is going to be 10 of theta, and then we first going to work out that. Is it clear, guys? Okay, cool. So let's do it. Alright, so now I have on my right hand side a fraction. So for both a fraction and I have sine of 21. So sine of 21, scroll down, cos of 21. 
right scroll out and equals and the same here yeah I have sine of 21 scroll down cos of 21 right scroll out and equals so, um, so you see here I have a syntax error you know why because we forgot to close the bracket so you need to be very careful so let's start again sine of 21 close the bracket can you see with the Casio you need to be very careful and here the cosine of 21 so be careful whether let me just go back here guys sorry I'm just redo this one fraction so sine of 21 close the bracket scroll down cosine of 21 close the bracket and then scroll out so clear guys and there you are 0 comma 383 so 0 comma 38 0 comma 38 now we're not done yet because I still want theta so clear guys so what I do is then I do the shift now so clear guys so clear both so now I say second function 10 shift 10 all right and then of course I have 0 comma 38 0 comma 38 close the bracket here equals equals and in both cases 20 comma 8 8 0 6 so 20 comma 8 1 right cool and then the last one here cosine of theta over 2 I'm first going to find the sine of 70 so the sine of 70 is 0 comma 9 3 9 6 9 2 6 2 please write down all the decimals and now shift will give me theta over 2 so clear guys so let's do it again right on both calculators so it is second function cos shift cos and then of course we have 0 comma 9 3 9 6 9 2 6 2 it's better to have all the decimals 0 comma 9 3 9 6 9 2 6 2 right close the bracket equals and equals in both cases the answer is 20 now remember that is 20 so I must still cross multiply theta times 1 is theta 2 times 20 is 40 and there you are the answer is 40 right so what I'll do it right good morning great tens how are you today today as you can see there calculator work so please get your calculators when we do this right so using a calculator is our topic today so I got a, a Casio and a Sharp in case you're having problems and our first example is to find the cost of 43 degrees using a calculator right the cost of 43 so let's see if I use the Casio first then you go to the key cost COS the cost and you put in your 43 right oh I must first switch on right so the cost right it will see it will open a bracket the Casio will open a bracket you can close the bracket this may be a good habit and the sharp there is cost cost I was also put on the sharp so let me just clean this cost of 43 the sharp don't show brackets and the, and the Casio does so please just remember to close the bracket so let's see equals and equals and in both cases the answer is 0 comma 731 let's round off to second decimal so 0 comma 73 so 0 comma 73 right cool then the next one is 41021 41021 let me clear both so it is 4 
10, 21. Close the bracket. The same here. 4, 10, 21. Take note, we don't say multiply by, we just type it in directly. Okay? And so in both cases, the answer is 1,535. Second decimal, 1,54. 1,54. 1, 1,54. Alright. Then the third one. Don't worry, I will send this page to you, so don't panic. Right, the third one, let me clear again, is 2 cos 40 over 2. So what you can do is, you can divide 40 by 2 and they have cos of 20. That is also okay. Or you can leave it as 40 over 2. So for, for this exercise, I'm going to leave it as 40 over 2. So it is 2 cos, but 40 over 2 is a, is a fraction, so I use the fraction key. And then, of course, 40, scroll down, 2, scroll out, close the bracket. That's for the Casio and the Sharp, 2, cos, fraction key, 40, scroll down, 2, scroll out. And in both cases, see how it looks like? And in both cases, the answer is 1,879. So therefore, 1,88, right? 1, comma eight eight right then the next one number four right five divided sorry cosine of 28 plus three so what you can do is you can add the two and then get 31 or you can leave it like that so let's see so it is cosine already the brackets is open so 28 plus three close the bracket now with a sharp, you will notice if I say cosine, then there's no brackets. So with a sharp, you will have to open the brackets. So clear guys? 28 plus 3 and close. So be careful now. So in both cases, the answer should be 0, 0,857, which is 0, 0,86. 0, 0,86. Right. And then the last one, number 5. Right, number 5, 5 divided by the sine of 25. So we are dealing with a fraction. So obviously in both cases, I'll have to use my fraction key and get 5, scroll down, sine of 25. And scroll out. The same here, 5, scroll down, sine, right, where is sine? Sine of 25 equals, you see, why is the syntax area? Because I forgot to close the bracket. So be careful, guys. So fraction with Casio, you must be careful. So it's 5 over, and then the sine of 25. You see, I forgot to close the bracket. You need to close the bracket. Is it clear, guys? And then you'll get your answer, 11, 83. 11,83. Cool. I'm going to send you this page, so don't worry. And also, I'm going to WhatsApp you homework for tomorrow. Okay, end of the lesson. Right, good morning, great tens. Let's continue our discussion. Remember, this is what we've done yesterday. And I gave you homework. Don't worry, I will supply you with the solution. Now, this was now when the angle was given. Now, what now if the ratios are given and you must find the angle? So, how do we do it in reverse? That is the quick question. How do we do this in reverse? Let's see quickly how that is done in reverse. Now, in reverse, people, we're going to use the second function on the sharp and the shift on the Casio. That's what we're going to do, all right? So please take note of that, right? So shall we do it? So let, so in this example, you're going to assume that we don't know it's 43, but we got 0, 0,73. So what you do is you say second function, and you say cos. That's on the sharp, and on the Casio the same. Shift and cos. So that's what you will see 
on the Casio and that is what you will see on the Sharp. So clear guys. Now you put in your 0 0.73, 0 0.73 on the Sharp and 0 0.73, close the bracket on the Casio and let's see, equals, equals and there you are. 43,11, remember it is a little bit bigger because we had to round. Is it clear guys? So there you are. Okay, cool. Let's continue now with our lesson. So let's do this now, right? In all these examples, theta is an acute angle. So clear guys? So all these values are in the first quadrant. So let's do the first one. Are you ready? So remember, we must get theta. So therefore it is the inverse. So it's second function cos right shift cos there you are and let's put in the 0 comma 213 0 comma 213 0 comma 213 close the bracket on the Casio and equals and equals and what do we get 77 comma 7 degrees right so theta is 77 comma 7 degrees okay next one three sign now in this one people because there's a three there you will have to first divide by three so please don't forget you must first divide by three so don't forget that one okay cool so let's see so this again second function sign this time shift sign right and now two thirds is a fraction so don't forget your fraction keys, right? And then two thirds, two, shift down three, shift out. The same here, two, down three, shift out and close the bracket. Remember with the Casio, you need to be very careful. Is it clear guys? And let's see, equals, equals. And in both cases, the answer is 41,81 if you go to second decimal. Right, so theta, is 41,81 degrees. Okay, number three is very similar. I'll have to divide by four. So the cosine of theta is 0, 0,865 divided by four, right? Let's see. 0, 0,865. Sorry, guys. 0, 0,865 divided by 4 and that gives me as a decimal 0, 0,2165 0, 0,21625 is it clear? right and now we can find theta so therefore theta will be so let's do it right so we're dealing here with cos, so it is second function cos, shift cos, right? And what is the value? 0, 0,21625, 0, 0,21625. Close the brackets on the Casio, equals, equals, and 77,51, right? 77,51 degrees. Cool. Then number four. You must first find this value for us. Is it clear, guys? Or what you can do is, you can do this in your inverse, but my advice to you is to first find this value. So therefore, 10 theta is then... Let's first work out sine 21 over cos 21. Okay, so sine 21 over cos 21. So I'm just going to use the fraction key, right? So I have sine of 21, scroll down, and the cos of 21. Right, that's all I do, equals. And I get 0, 0,38. Now with trigonometry, you must write down all those values, unfortunately. 0, 
3864035. Right? You have to write down all those values, people, unfortunately. And then theta. I'm just going to use on the one calculator now. So it is so theta is in shift, right? Shift uh, 10, and then put in all those values. 0, 0,3838640035. And the answer is 21 degrees. Right. And then the last one, cos of theta over 2 equals the sine of 70. Cos of theta over 2 equals the sine. So first find the sine of 70. Right. So let's see. Sine of 70 is all those values there. So cosine of theta over 2 is in 0, 0,939 Nine three nine six nine two six two. So all those values, people, right? Sine of seventy, and then of course theta over two will be the shift of that value, right? So shall we do it? So it is second function cos. And then put in all those values. 0, 0,9396962. And I get the answer of 20 degrees. Then of course, if I cross multiply, theta is then 40. If I cross multiply.